Born on the 20th of March 1927 in Calabar, Cross River State, famed industrialist and philanthropist Chief Sonny Odogu was born into the family of late Prince Robert Dyson Odogu, son of the first paramount ruler of Asaba, Obi Odima Odogu, and his mother, Mrs. Mary Anyaso Odogu. Chief Odogu, who was the Ide Ahaba of Asaba, established CEO Group of Companies, holding entity with investment in property development, shipping, finance, industrial relations and hotel management and distinguished himself in the business world before passing away on November 5, 2018. The burial rights for the deceased, who was also the publisher of the defunct Post Express newspapers, started with a night of tribute, which held at Island Club, Lagos. The night of tribute was attended by family and friends like the former president Olushe Gwabasanjo, Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki, Vice Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party Peter Obi, Otumba Shubomi Balogo, retired Major General Ike Umwacheko and wife Mrs. Gwain Umwacheko, Chief Rezak Okoya, the Otumba Adekunle Ojora and wife the Irelu Ujo Lakwe Ojora, Prince Samuel Adedoi and Chief Philip Asiodo. Let us pray for the church and all her ministers. Let the church may continue to be a mother and model of faith to all her children and for all of us who have been called to be ministers of the word and sacraments and live lives worthy of our vocation. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our dear father and brother, Chief Sonny Iwedike Odogu. That he may receive forgiveness for all his sins from the Lord, and that he will receive the grace of baptism, may reap its fruits as he enjoys the vision of God and the happiness of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for Chief Mrs. Clarissa Odogu and all her children. I was a bit hesitant whether to come and repeat what I've already written down. And it's in the book of uh, uh, the tributes written. But I'll mention the salient points. One thing I emphasize was that even though we are now in-laws, Sonia and I have been friends before our two children were born. It was Victor, my good friend, his immediate younger brother, who brought us together. I don't know whether you will recall the specific question, but I still remember clearly somewhere along Father Road. I don't I had the opportunity to meet some local when my wife told him his brother he can go decide to get married. We had to go to Asaba for the engagement. That's why when Omoba was talking 
about the occasion in Asaba. What was so special about it was that he was ready because we told him that we are coming from families from Lagos and also from Kwara. There were so many. And he said, We are ready for you. But what was beautiful about it was that he personally on his own would go around that night, I remember, for the engagement to all the guest houses, check individually that everybody was comfortable, whether you're a young child, you know, so, so, and he would sit down with you. And you'll be saying, sir, sir, go ahead and join. He said, no, no, just where I want, with the boys, with the boys, I was here. And this was him. Standing before the throne and before the land, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God, who sits upon the throne and to the land. And all the angels stood round the throne and round the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. I thought they could do something with the party I belonged at that time. And I wanted him to be the chairman of the party. And I talked to him. He, well, reluctantly agreed. Then, of course, I have to mention it to the leaders of the party. And they said to me, he's not a hard politician. <laughs> now, there are many politicians here. They will now tell me what a hard politician is. Going back to Chief Sonny, he was very enterprising. Besides his very successful insurance business, he engaged himself in major profitable projects of real estate acquisition and development in several countries in Africa, the United Kingdom, and the United States. He also invested in manufacturing, distribution of auto vehicles, in electrical goods, in newspaper publishing, in hotel ownership. Lord, so that alive or dead will be known to the Lord. That explains why Christians we die. We die for the Lord. So the alive or dead will be known to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he can make might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. This is also why it should never pass judgment on a brother or treat him with consent, as some of you have done. Thank you. 
people attendance here today is a very poor reflection of the norm and acceptability that you will know had while it was alive as a child and the world of prostitutes. My recollection of him was that he donated a block of eight classrooms. When he did so, it was the most modern block in the entire school. That block is still standing to today. The other recollection I have of him was when I visited Kasaba several years ago and I had to stay in one that came to the hotel and I asked around, how come you have to be like a building or uh, edifice in this place? And I was told that it was built by someone who was an high chief of a town by the name of Chief Odogo. To me, that is classical. Someone who leaves the footprint very well the world. So on behalf of the Old Student Association of Elisha Grammar School, I'd like to condole the members of the family and let you know that we're going very, very highly. In fact, we tell people proudly that our school is not just a provincial school because people like Chief Odogo attended, and people like uh, Omar Chief Justice Belgori attended, and so we pray that the Lord would put his uh, soul in the hands as I do much. later, the family, including wife and children of the deceased, went for the commendation service at the Church of Assumption, Falomo, Lagos. <laughs>
uh, the life he spent here on earth. We thank God for uh, the family God placed under his care. And we are praying that now that God has called him out of this world to eternal glory, God will grant him eternal rest through Christ our Lord. Lord, we thank and praise you for the gift of your son, Chief Sonny Uwedike. We are grateful for his life. We are thankful for this time that we have him. We are asking for eternal rest for him and courage for the rest of his family to continue to serve their honor. In Asaba, a Christian wake it took place at St. Patrick's Church, Asaba Delta State, and the family, friends, and associates of the Odokos were also joined by the Governor of Delta State, His Excellency Senator Ifan Yokoa, Minister of State for Petroleum Ibe Kachuku, and retired General Ike Umachuku. <laughs> continued as the residents of the deceased where members of the island club came to pay their last respect to the deceased who was a chairman board of trustees of the club in his lifetime
Few hours later, they went to St. Patrick's Church at Sabah Delta for a funeral mass service where notable personalities like the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Barisa Kingsley Tuaro, Governor of Edo State, Godwin Obasaki, former Governor of Delta State, Chief James Ibori, and wife, Mrs. Senami Sosu Ibori, former Governor of Delta State, Dr. Imano Lujwaha, Dame Mrs. Beatrice Ekweme, retired General Ike Nwachuku, the Otumba Adekunle Ojora and wife, the Arelu Ojolakwe Ojora, Chairman Guardian Newspapers, Lady Maiden Alex Eber. <laughs> The interment followed immediately at the deceased villa, after which Dome Event Center hosted the reception, where more guests like the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Peter Obi, former chief of naval staff, Rear Admiral Dele Ezeolu, Professor Pate Tome, and Oloroko Oscar Alex Ibro joined in the celebration of a life well spent for the deceased. There was a lot of excitement as Emma Gregg and Chibago Band entertained the guest. The day after, family and friends performed the traditional burial rite for the late Idei Ahaba of Asaba.
The traditional rites which had Professor Wale Shoinka as one of the guests ended with a traditional performance by the Uwabu's or PC Music and Cultural Group. <laughs> Oh, my God. 